Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering Python set. I will explain various methods and various operations that can be performed on Python set. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. If you want to store multiple values in single variable, then you can use Python sets. And we represent Python set by using curly braces. I will give an example. This is example of Python set. In single variable A, I am storing multiple values. They are 10, 10.5 and btec. Where btec is string, so you need to represent this in double quotations. I already said before, we represent set in curly braces. So inside curly braces, I written 10, 10.5, btec. And whenever you write print A, print function is used to generate output. Inside print, I written A. So whatever the data that is present, inside variable a will be generated as output so a contains 10 comma 10.5 comma btec so i will get output that is 10.5 comma 10 comma btec where it will represent btec in single quotations though you write here double quotations in output it will display btec in single quotations python set is an unordered collection of elements that means in which order you give input in same order you will not receive output here in this example at first i return 10 after 10 i return 10.5 and after 10.5 i return btec so in which order you give input in same order you will not receive output so here whenever i run this code i will get output 10.5 first after that 10 after that btec so it will not follow any particular order next time when you run this same code you may get output like btec first after btec 10 and it to make it 10.5 this is meaning of unordered python set do not allow duplicate values in this example i return 10 twice and btec twice whenever you write print a you will get output 10 comma btec where it will represent btec in single quotations though i return 10 twice and btec twice it will display 10 and btec only once that means python set do not allow duplicate values python sets are immutable that means once we create any set we cannot perform any modifications on that particular set this is meaning of immutable and python set do not support indexing for example 10 is present in index 0 10.5 in index number 1 and btec in index number 2 whenever you write print a of 0 actually i should get value 10 but here i will get error because python set do not support indexing this is one more example here i written a equal to 10 comma 10.5 comma btec in curly braces whenever you write print a you will get output that is 10 comma 10.5 comma btec and next i written print type of a where type function is used to identify data type here i written objects 10 comma 10.5 comma btec in curly braces so whenever you write print type of a you will get output that is class set because here i took curly braces and next i written print alien of a where alien stands for length this alien function is used to identify length of set the total there are 1 2 3 total there are 3 objects in set so i will get output that is 3 next i will explain what is use of set constructor for example here i written a equal to apple comma mango comma banana in normal brackets where this normal brackets represent tuple by using set constructor you can convert this tuple to set just write here set and take brackets whenever you write print a you will get output that is apple comma mango comma banana in curly braces because by using set constructor we converted this tuple to set so you will get output apple comma mango comma banana in curly braces this is one more example here i written a equal to where a is variable name and this set contains three objects they are banana comma apple comma mango now i want to print all these objects one by one so by using for loop we can print objects present in set one by one so just write here for x in a where x is variable name in a colon that means whenever you write this line of code whatever the data that is present inside this a it will be transferred to variable x and inside this for loop i am writing print x so by using for loop we can print objects present in set one by one this is my output once we create set we cannot perform any changes but we can add and delete items i will give an example for example this set contains three items they are apple banana and mango now i want to add one more item that is orange so just write here a dot add by using add method you can add item i want to add item that is orange so write this orange in double quotations now this orange is added to this a so whenever you write print a you will get output mango banana apple orange this is how we add item to the set Next, I will explain how to remove item in a set. For example, this set contains three objects. They are apple, 
mango and banana now i want to remove banana from this set by using remove method you can remove item so just write here my set is present in variable a so just write here a dot remove by using remove method you can remove item i want to remove item that is banana so just write here banana and where banana is thing so i need to represent this in single or double quotations whenever you write a dot remove of banana it will remove banana from this set and whenever you write print a now you will get output apple and mango because it removed banana this is how we remove item in a set and in place of remove method you can also use discard method so just in place of writing a dot remove you can also write a dot discard by using discard method you can remove item but what is difference between this discard method and remove method if you use remove method if item is not present in a set then it will display error for example here write an a dot remove of kiwi but this kiwi is not present in this set so whenever you write a dot remove of kiwi then it will display error so in place of remove method if you use discard method it will not display any error if item is not present for example here write an a dot discard discard of kiwi here kiwi is not present so it will not display any error whenever you write print a you will get output apple comma mango comma banana this is difference between remove and discard method by using del keyword you can remove complete set for example i want to remove this set completely so just write here del this set is present in variable a so just write here del a and whenever you print a you will get output nothing because because we remove this set completely by using del keyword and by using sets we can also perform some mathematical set operations like union intersection and symmetric difference i will explain each of them by giving example at first i will explain how to perform union operation by using union method you can union two sets for example here i written a equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and similarly i written b equal to 4 comma 5 comma 6 now by using union method you can combine these two sets so just write here c equal to a dot union of b by using union method you can combine these two sets a and b and we will show this result in variable c so whenever you write print c you will get output 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 this is my output this is use of union method for example if you write here 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 here first set contains 1 2 3 4 and second set contains 4 5 6 4 is present twice it will print 4 only once because it do not have a duplicate values so whenever you run this code you will get output 1 2 3 and will print 4 only once 5 comma 6 this is my output next i will explain intersection method for example here i written a equal to this set contains 1 2 3 4 and similarly set b contains 3 4 5 6 and next i took another variable that is c and here i am writing a dot intersection method i n t e r s c c t a 1 a dot intersection of b intersection method will take only similar items a contains value 1 2 3 4 and b contains value 3 4 5 6 in this common elements are 3 4 here 3 4 is common in both sets so i written here c equal to a dot intersection of b and whenever you write print c you will get output here 3 4 is similar in both sets so i will get output 3 comma 4 this is use of intersection method intersection method will print only similar items and next i will explain what is use of symmetric difference symmetric difference is opposite to intersection method here it will print only similar items present in two sets and whereas symmetric difference will print non-similar items for example, A contains set 1, 2, 3, 4 and B contains set 3, 4, 5, 6. And here I written C equal to A dot symmetric underscore difference of B. That means I am performing symmetric difference between A and B. And whenever you write print C, you will get output 1, 2, 5, 6. It is opposite to intersection. It will print non-similar items. In this both sets, 3, 4 is similar. And whereas 1, 2, 5, 6. These are non similar items. So I will get output 1, 2, 5, 6. This is use of symmetric difference. Next, I will explain what is use of update method. This update method is same as union method. Whereas by using union method, after performing union operation, it will store result in separate variable that is C. This union method will show result in separate variable that is C. But what this update method will do is, this update method will perform union operation and it will store result in variable A. We'll store that result in variable A itself. So just write here A dot update of B. That means it will perform union operation and it will store result in variable A. So whenever you write print A, you will get output 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6. This is same as union method. 
but difference is that union method will store result in separate variable that is c and whereas update method will store result in variable a itself next i will explain intersection update method for example i written a equal to same example i written a equal to 1 2 3 4 and b equal to 3 4 5 6 and next i am writing a dot intersection underscore update of here i am writing a dot intersection underscore update of b this intersection method will store result in separate variable that is c and whereas intersection update method will store result in variable a itself so i written here a dot intersection update of b after performing intersection operation between set a and set b it will store result in variable a so whenever you write print a you will get output 3 comma 4 this is my output this is difference between intersection method and intersection update method. Next I will explain symmetric difference update method. Same example. So just I am writing here a dot symmetric underscore difference underscore update of B. By using symmetric difference update method, we will perform symmetric difference between two sets and we will store result in variable A itself. So whenever you write here print A, you will get output symmetric difference will store non similar items in this 1 2 3 4 and 3 4 5 6 this 3 4 are similar items and 1 2 5 6 are non similar items so you will get output 1 comma 2 comma 5 comma 6